and what's up you guys it's your boy sf barry sports talk and the tennessee titans have signed former texans cornerback jonathan joseph and offensive lineman zach karen now if you're a titans fan i think these are great signings for the titans joseph is a future hall of famer in my opinion he has had a spectacular career spanning 14 seasons with the Bengals and Texans. And over that time, he has amassed 754 tackles, 195 pass breakups with 31 interceptions, seven forced fumbles, and five fumble recoveries. He continued to play at a high level in 2019 with 51 tackles, 13 pass breakups, and one interception. Now, Joseph is going to be providing some big-time veteran experience, and he also has had nine playoff starts, which that is going to be absolutely instrumental considering the Titans just got to the AFC Championship game. And Joseph will also be able to serve as a mentor to new Titans cornerback that they drafted in the second round by the name of Christian Fulton from the LSU Tigers, a spectacular cornerback. He had 38 tackles in 2019 with 14 pass breakups and one interception. Now, the Titans also on that cornerback group, they also have Malcolm Butler. He had 32 tackles last year with nine pass breakups and two interceptions. And they have a very young, talented Dari Jackson, who is only 24 years old. And in 2019, he had 45 tackles, six pass breakups. And back in 2017, he had as many as 17 pass breaks. Now, Zach Kieran is a 28-year-old offensive lineman, hasn't played a whole lot in his career. He has 18 games NFL experience. In college, he was a three-year starter there. And now, he didn't play last year, so you're hoping that we'll be able to help him with the Titans upcoming. And the Titans also used a first-round pick to draft an offensive lineman in Isaiah Wilson. So that's going to be absolutely huge for them. And also, the Titans did re-sign offensive tackle Dennis Kelly to a three-year deal. And they also signed Ty Sembralio in free agency. So you gotta love the moves the Titans have been making coming off of that AFC Championship game. Ryan Tannehill has just been getting better and better at quarterback as a leader of this team. And you got talented running back Derrick Henry, who a lot of defenses cannot bring that guy down. So the Titans are looking really stacked. It's gonna be an exciting year for them. I'm anticipating the Titans are gonna be making a deep run into the playoffs and they will be challenging some of the best teams in the AFC, the likes of the Ravens, Kansas City Chiefs. So it's gonna be really intriguing this season. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you made it all the way through, to the end of this video then be sure to smash up that thumbs up button and smash that subscriber button and smash that bell button if you have not done so already if you would like to be notified when brand new nfl breaking news will be coming to you guys live with all the latest happenings in the nfl and we'll be covering it for you all right here so let me know your thoughts tennessee titans fans on the of cornerback Jonathan Joseph and offensive lineman Zach Karen. We'd love to get your guys' thoughts and perspectives. And as always, until next time, I'll see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.